first of all what is fluid the first question in our mind we will get it so what is fluid the substance which has no definite shape and has the ability to flow is called fluid so it doesn't have a definite shape but it has the ability to flow that is called fluid so example liquids and gases liquids and gases gases so these are the example for fluid the difference between liquids and gases is that liquid cannot be compressed but gas can be compressed liquid cannot be compressed whereas gas can be compressed so the there is a difference between liquid and gas fluid mechanics is a branch of physics that deals with the behavior of fluids at rest and motion so what is fluid mechanics fluid mechanics is a branch of physics that will deals with the behavior of the fluids at rest and motion so it is a mechanics it's fluids mechanics okay so at rest and motion it deals rest and motion and coming to that coming to that fluid statics fluid statics so what is fluid statics fluid statics is nothing but it deals with the behavior of the fluids at rest behavior of the fluids at rest fluid dynamics so one more one one more thing fluid dynamics dynamics it deals with the behavior of the fluids in motion in motion so you can observe here fluid statics is nothing but so it deals with the behavior of the fluids at rest fluid dynamics it deals with the behavior of the fluids in motion so next one is density what is the density density is nothing but mass per unit volume mass per unit volume that is nothing but m by v so what is si unit of density si unit of density is you can see si unit of density that is nothing but kg per meter cube kg per meter cube that also we can write kg meter power minus 3 kg meter power minus 3 so that is nothing but si unit of density si unit of density right next one what is cgs unit cgs unit is gram per centimeter cube that also can be written gram centimeter per minus 3 it's a dimensional formula m power 1 l power minus 3 t power 0 there is no time so that is the reason we are taking one so here l power minus 3 and mass will be there that is si unit and cgs units of density and coming to so what is this the uh, density scalar quantity or vector quantity density is a scalar quantity density is a scalar quantity okay so 1 gram centimeter per minus 3 is equal to 1000 kg meter per minus 3 1000 kg meter per minus 3 so this a statement is very very important so make sure that so you are uh, remembering this one right and uh, coming to the relative to density relative to density is nothing but relative to density relative to 
density. What is the relative density? So relative density is nothing but density of this substance by density of the water at 4 degrees centigrade. Relative density is nothing but density of the substance by density of the water at 4 degrees centigrade. Why we are taking water at 4 degrees centigrade? Exactly at uh, 4 degrees centigrade, water will be consist uh, in the state of liquid. Water will be consist in the state of liquid water. So that's the reason we are taking. So relative density is nothing but density of the substance by density of the water at 4 degrees centigrade. Density density of the substance density of substance substance by substance by density of the water density of the water of the water water at 4 degrees centigrade density of water density of water you can take density of water at 4 degrees centigrade right next density of liquids so you can consider mixture of liquids so that is very very important concept density of mixture of two or more liquids so next topic is density density of a mixture density of a mixture mixture Measure of two, of two are, are more liquids, are more liquids, are more liquids. How to do it? So you can see, suppose two liquids of densities. So uh, first case, case one you can consider. So row 1 comma row 2 are the two densities of a mix uh, liquids and their masses and their masses m1 comma m2 if you add this together then you will get density right mixture of liquid density. So what is that? So rho equal to we know the formula density equal to mass per unit volume. So we will use the same formula m1 plus m2 by v1 plus v2 so that is nothing but density of the mixture of liquids mixture of liquids so now you can take so rho equal to m1 plus m2 by so v1 plus v2 right so we can take if the masses are equal if masses are equal m1 equal to m2 then so rho equal to we know density equal to mass per unit volume so we can take uh, density equal to mass per unit volume here is the volume right volume equal to so you can see here we need to replace in the volume so then rho equal to you can cross multiply so rho, uh, rho equal to mass per unit volume that is my density so v equal to mass by density that is nothing but so now you can take so how we can take m1 plus m2 by m1 by rho 1 plus m2 by rho 2 so here you can take m common so m you can take common so now you can uh, take a so you can take rho equal to so we know masses are equal m1 equal to m2 m1 equal to m2 so if m1 equal to m2 then how the formula will become so there is nothing but m you can consider m you can consider right then m you can take common 1 plus 1 by 1 by rho 1 plus 1 by rho 2 then rho equal to so here m is there no m here also we can take common then m m get cancel m m get cancel then 2 by so row 2 plus row 1 by row 1 into row 2 row 1 into row 2 then so we can consider we can consider row equal to 
to rho 1 plus rho 2 by rho 1 plus rho 2. So, this is the mixture of liquids if masses are equal, if masses are equal, that is condition is if m1 equal to m2. So, that is the formula. So, we got it. Now, so if the same condition, the same condition, if the volumes are equal, if the volumes are equal, how the formula will become? So, now we will see how the formula will become. Now, we can consider, right? So, let us check that case also. That is number case number 2. So, we can consider case number 2. So, case number 2 you can consider at the same liquids densities rho 1 and rho 2 okay and volumes v1 and v2 are mixed together so the formula is we know density equal to mass per unit volume the same we can consider rho equal to m1 plus m2 by v1 plus v2 so in the masses place we can write so rho equal to mass per mass per unit volume so we can take m equal to rho into v you can use this formula then you can do it this equation how it will be so rho equal to rho 1 v1 plus rho 2 v2 by v1 plus v2 if if v1 equal to v2 so that is nothing but we can take so anything that is nothing but we can take v also Yes, now how the formula will become? So you can consider. So here you can see. So rho equal to. So we can take v common rho one plus rho two by. So we can take common one plus one. So v we get cancel. So v we can get cancel. Then the rho equal to rho one plus rho two by two. Rho one plus rho two by two. So, this is a condition if, if V1 equal to V2, V1 equal to V2, that is a formula, that is the formula, right? Yes. Now, so if you case, in case, you can factors affecting density, factors affecting density, factors affecting, affecting density okay factors affecting density so we'll see this one first one is effect of temperature effect of temperature effect of temperature right temperature how it will be effect of temperature now you can see as the temperature of liquid increased so if you are taking liquid so in the beaker now you can consider what will be there inside of the beaker. If the temperature of the liquid will increases, if T increases, automatically mass remains same. Mass will be same. Mass will be same. Will be same. But temperature rises at the same at the same time. Volume also will rises. Volume will increases. Temperature increases. Volume also will increases mass will be the remaining same then the density of two liquids decreases the density of two liquids decreases so rho is inversely proportional to volume rho is inversely proportional to volume so now you can consider how it will be rho equal to so rho is inversely proportional to r is we took right yes so, how it will be? We can check it once. That is nothing but rho is inversely proportional to R, sorry, V. Then we can take, we can take rho dash by rho equal to, rho dash by rho equal to V by V dash, V by V dash. Then, so V by v plus del del dv so delta v you can take that is derivation of v so how much it will changes so we know change in volume that is nothing but dv change in volume change in volume 
change in volume if you take so what is that dv equal to v into gamma into delta t so gamma equal to so what is the formula change in volume by change in volume by original volume to change in temperature actually so coefficient of volume volume expansion so that is the formula is so gamma equal to gamma equal to change in volume by original volume into change in temperature so according to that we can write the formula so v by v by so we can take v plus v plus so v into gamma into delta t gamma into delta t so from that equation we can take we can consider v k v can take common v we can take common numerator 1 by 1 plus gamma into delta t gamma into delta t so then you will get the answer so here you can cancel it here you can cancel it uh, v and v v and v we can cancel it then the final answer you will get it final answer you will get it 1 by 1 by 1 by 1 plus 1 plus gamma into gamma into delta t 1 by 1 plus gamma into delta t so that is nothing but rho into rho into so rho dash by rho equal to equal to then you will get the answer here if you are taking if you are considering rho dash equal to rho by cross multiply rho by 1 plus gamma into delta t 1 plus gamma into delta t so that you will get that you will get a rho dash value thank you